Either best stuff. Uh, while we're waiting for more people to jump on, I'm just going to show you some happy mail I got today. And I have to admit, I haven't been to my mailbox um, in several days. So these may have come earlier, but um, this one came from a customer, Nadine Scouten. And um, I actually just talked to her this weekend when she placed an order, which was nice. But she sent me this uh, wonderful card and you can see the Stampin' Up! elements on there. And on the inside, the stamped message is, I thank you for being you. So um, that makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, so nice. And then I got a package today from another customer and I couldn't think what could this customer possibly be sending me. And um, first of all, I'll show you the envelope. Here's the envelope and it says, can you read that? Congratulations, Grandma Mary. And um, on the back, it says, see that? Grandma needs special grandma books. So I open the card, which is so pretty. The day God made you, he just sat down and smiled. Okay, and that like, between these two cards, I was already having like tears of joy. Um, I just, wow, you know, fills me up. So if you think your card making and your card sending doesn't make a difference, you're wrong. It does. Um, no matter if you're sending to me or somebody else, you make a difference with your card making. You're making the world a better, brighter place for people. So thank you. Um, but then she just wrote um, a really nice note inside about, um, <clears throat> well, I'll read it to you. This was the gift, a board book, Barnyard Dance. And <clears throat> the note says, I would, um, I was gifted this book when I became a Grammy. I thought you may like a farm book because of your mom. And occasionally I've mentioned my mom was raised on a dairy farm. So thank you, Lori, for remembering that, remembering that. May God bless mom, the parents, baby, and grandma. Enjoy. Um, so how sweet is that? And yes, I'm one of those grandmas who's already collecting books and I don't even have grandkids here yet. Um, if you haven't heard the story, John and Andrea are expecting. We found out in November, last Thursday, um, they told the two families that um, they're having a girl. So we're super excited. Um, Emily and I will be planning a baby shower for um, the spring. And then the new baby is expected on July 8th. So special shout out to Nadine Scouten and Lori Hall for your happy mail. Um, it really did make my day. So thank you. Um, I did post, I think the email went out last night um, or overnight maybe, um, can't remember, but my latest class to go is now open for registration and it uses the Ginkgo Branch stamp set and dies. And I'll just show you the cards quickly. The cards are, and, and I took the inspiration right from the stamp set itself. The cards are what I call caring thoughts cards. So think uh, friendship, support, uh, hope, encouragement, thinking of you, sympathy along those lines. So here are two of the cards. In the class, you'll make um, two each of four different designs. And with the class, you'll also receive the flat adhesive back pearls, my favorite new um, embellishment in the mini catalog. So information about that is on my blog today, stampinpeace.com, or if you did not receive, um, or if you do receive my emails, it went out in an email, so you can check there. And if you're not on my email list, or um, have not subscribed to my blog, you can do both of those at stampinpeace.com. And keep in mind, this is a new blog. So if you're typing that in in the search and the word type pad comes up, do not go there. It won't work. 
stampinpeace.com is all you need to reach my new blog. And um, so check out all that information there, okay? Um, today's Facebook Live is a little bit different because the focus today is on using a couple of the products from our mini catalog that were designed specifically for spring holidays, winter spring holidays. However, I am going to use those, combine the products and use those in a completely different way. So the next time you go through the mini catalog, I want you to think about are there different ways to use specific stamp sets or dies or punches or paper? And what would those be? Because, you know, my goal is I want you to get the most bang for your buck, right? Whether you're purchasing from me or somebody else, I want you to use the products that you've invested in over and over and over. And in order to help you do that, I would like to show you different ways um, to use your products to um, make them more versatile and keep you stamping longer, okay? So I'm going to flip my camera around now to my workspace. And while I'm doing that, would you please share this live video and invite others to join us on this Monday afternoon, January 20, 22nd, 22nd. All right. Okay, and as I share the various products that we're working with, um, we're just gonna throw out some various ideas. Um, and if you're just jumping on now, welcome to Stamp in Peace with Mary Nabe. As always, I'm so happy you're here and thank you for the opportunity to share what I love to do with all of you. So the one product from the mini catalog that we'll be using today is the Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. Lots of hearts in it, right? So on, um, and with the other products in that suite, you may be thinking Valentine's Day. There are lots of hearts in each of these. Um, even this print has tiny hearts in. That one does, this one does. So yes, our mind naturally goes to Valentine's Day, which takes place next month. But let's look at these papers in a little bit different way, okay? What other ways would you use these papers? I can think of a couple right off the bat. I like these with the heart prints for bridal showers, um, anniversary cards, um, perhaps wedding favors, depending on what the wedding colors are, that sort of theme. And I think you can um, think of how you might use these, each of these prints in those ways. This one, I think definitely would be great for birthday, for sympathy, thinking of you, Joan saying Easter baby weddings, yes. Um, look at this one. How about, you know, just a summer card, a pick-me-up card, thinking of you, or can't wait to see you, or let's meet up sometime, right? Um, so think about that. So that's one of the products we're using in a different way today. And then think about this one, the Easter Bunny stamp set and coordinating punch. There's a sentiment in here that really caught my eye and made me look at this set a little bit differently. But how would you use this set? If you weren't using it for Easter, how would you use it? Any thoughts on that? How could you use this if you're not using it for Easter?
Joan, we think alike. You see baby cards. That's exactly what I saw when I gave this bundle a second thought. Sue's on that too. Welcome, baby. So is Diane. So you see what I'm saying? So today I'm combining that Country Floral Lane DSP and um, the Easter Bunny bundle to make some baby cards. Oh, yes, Jenny, you're right on it too. Thinking of you, you're a friend like no other. Absolutely. You could use that any time of year, right? Marie saying baby and birthday. Absolutely. Just pretty spring cards, right? Okay, so let's make some baby cards. You know, I've kind of got baby on the brain. I really do. I mean, it's like really bad. If I go anywhere, a store, Target, anything, I always want to zip through the baby section. So you can tell I'm a little excited to as we wait for that first grandbaby. So, and you know, one thing I love too, the baby things nowadays are not all um, pink and blue. People are looking for different ways or different color schemes. They're kind of being more original and unique in their decorating and cards and gifts and that sort of thing. Oh, Marie, yes, Chinese New Year is right here. Absolutely. Great time to celebrate that as well. So I'm starting with a piece of mint macaron cardstock. And this time, instead of cutting my, um, uh, what am I saying? Instead of scoring my eight and a half by 11 cardstock at four and a quarter and cutting at five and a half, I did the opposite. I scored the sheet of cardstock at five and a half. And then I turned and cut it at four and a quarter. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. And that might help with the focus. And hopefully this will stay right where I want it. Oh, it's not. Oh. This thing is so hard to, we might have to make do. It's really hard for me to turn the knobs on that. Alrighty. So going forward, fold that in half. I've cut this DSP from the Country Floral Lane. Oh yes, you're the rabbit, what am I thinking? You know, I'm doing this um, exercise program on my treadmill and they're taking me through, you can watch it online and there's, it's cool. Um, so I'm actually touring Vietnam while I do my walks on the treadmill. And they were just talking about um, Chinese New Year, Year of the Rat, but this video was made, I think two years ago. Um, yes, 2020, I believe. And um, so three years ago, isn't it? Um, but yes, now it's Year of the Rabbit. Absolutely. Great thinking, ladies. All right. Then I cut another piece of designer series paper from the same pack. It coordinates, right? But different. And there's a fun one that could be used on a baby card as well. But this piece measures three inches by three inches. And I'm adhering it to a piece of mint macaron that me measures three and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna attach this to my card front towards the left side, towards that fold. But I'm putting it so that I have um, equal spacing at the top, bottom, and left side of the square. I'm going to use this for the inside. Basic white, five and a quarter by four inches. And then I'm going to add this half inch strip of the designer series paper, just for a little, um, color extra pizzazz on the inside of my card. OK, 
Okay, with the um, a card just like this, I'm sure you can see the versatility in it with all these different prints and colors. Birthday, thinking of you, sympathy, um, just wanted to send a note, hello, uh, congratulations, good luck on your new job, on and on and on, right? Welcome to the neighborhood, on and on and on, right? But I'm going to use my Easter Bunny punch and attach that to the front. I'm gonna pop it up with some dimensionals. because that's how I roll, you know that. Oh, this afternoon was exciting for another reason too. It's been such a great day. You know, Mondays can sometimes be a little uh, mundane. I work, you know, work long hours the first half of the week. Um, but today was exciting because because I got that happy mail. And then I also um, had two people join my Stampin' Up! team today as well. And somebody also joined um, with one of my team members. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm going to make a double bow. We need to dress up this bunny just a little bit. So I'm just going to make a small double bow. Whoops, what am I doing here? And to pull those together, and that didn't quite happen. Okay, if that happens and you don't have them pulled evenly, just put something between the loops and give it a tug until they are even there. And then you can go back to making it the shape or the size that you want. I think that looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with that. So I'm going to trim off my ends. Now you could do a really tiny bow and put it up here by the ears, but I'm putting mine right at the neck. And to do that, I'm just gonna put a dot of multi-purpose glue and press the knot of the bow right over that. I'm gonna set this little clear block on top of it to hold that in place while it dries for a few seconds. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment. So this is my sentiment. Enjoy all the little moments, because it isn't that really what you're wishing um, for new parents? Or new grandparents when you're congratulating them on a new baby. You're hoping that they um, just enjoy all those little moments of the baby growing and learning and just fitting in with the family, right? And then I discovered that this sentiment fits perfectly in the small oval. And I'm only using the small oval from the double oval punch today. I mean, it looks really neat if you punch the larger shape and layer them. However, this DSP is pretty busy. So I felt like all that um, scallop would be a little bit busy and maybe a little bit overwhelming for the card. So once again, I'm going to Add this with dimensionals. And then I'm going to dress up my finished card with some embellishments. And you know lots of times these are called the elegant faceted gems. Um, I'm kind of down quite a few in this pack, um, but they're petal pink and clear and they're faceted, meaning they ha aren't smooth. They've got all the little 
cuts kind of like a diamond is faceted. Um, really pretty, really pretty. But this is what I have left of them. And a lot of times we scatter our embellishments, don't we? Maybe two here, one there, something like that. But I'm going to just put them in a little row of three right beneath the sentiment. And my take your pick tool helps me put them exactly where I want them. Just press them down a little bit, really pretty. I did think instead of the bow, I could have also, if I had more of the small um, gems, I could have done like a little necklace on the neck of the bunny, that that would be a fun way to, you know, bling out the bunny, right? Bling out baby bunny. All right, so there's my baby girl card. This would be great, not just when a baby's born, but even to um, take to a baby shower, okay? But, and I have no idea what happened to the lid of that. I lose this lid all the time, but somehow it always turns up, so I won't worry about it. But I will be giving this card away, so hang on. We're going to make one more card. If we're doing a baby girl card, um, and Andrea told me recently, she sold cards for me at my Creative Escape weekend two weeks ago, or nearly two weeks ago, and she said people were asking for baby cards, and I really had very, very few, if any. Um, so I'll be making some more of these to stick in my stash. So again, I'm going to make a baby card, but this time I'm making a baby boy card. I must put this on the inside to begin with. And then I chose to use this print as my background. So on the first card, the background print I chose was um, more subtle. Whereas this makes more of a statement. So I did the subtle and then the um, focal or the statement DSP on top. And on this card, I'm doing the opposite. Now this will be the DSP I use on top. Do you see how I did that? Subtle and dynamic, dynamic and subtle. So always fun ways to mix and match the DSPs. And again, a three inch square that I'm layering on top of a three quarter inch square of mint macaron. You can see too that the card bases and the cardstock squares are the same color. But again, one's a baby girl card and one's a baby boy card. I agree. Somebody said something about non-traditional colors. I totally, totally love that. People are um, more original, I guess, nowadays. Okay, so I'm going to punch my bunny from Balmy Blue cardstock. I've got a white circle, basic white. I at first tried, um, my mind's going blank. Um, I first tried vellum for my circle and it just wasn't doing it for me. So I decided to go with the, bite, the white because it was a little more bold of a statement. Whoops, there we go. Put this right here down in front. Okay, 
Notice on this one too, the the Easter bunny or the baby bunny is down a little, little bit lower. Whereas on this card, I've centered the circle and the bunny within the square. Okay. Now, this bunny needs a little something to be dressed up. However, I didn't think the bow was quite what I wanted. And I kept thinking, I know I saw a bow tie somewhere. So I went to my shelf with all of my stamp sets and here it is. I knew I had seen one. Isn't that funny? The blue bunny looks bigger to you. Just a mind game, right? Um, just an illusion. Um, but I think it's because the, the blue bunny is on that bold white, whereas this bunny is on the um, pattern paper, the DSP. But that's a that's a good thing. I'm looking, and I'm even looking at them on my computer screen in front of me. I'm seeing exactly what you're seeing, Laura. Funny that illusion. Okay, so let me show you what I did for dressing up this baby boy bunny. I also stamped with. Um, Mitt Macaron, and I'm just, I'm only, I don't need to ink up the whole thing, but just naturally putting it there, it happens. But I don't need a piece of paper or a scrap as large as this stamp, do I? Because I'm really only wanting the bow tie. And then I'm gonna take my paper snips. I have several of these snips all over the places, different places that I work. Even in my to-go bags and extra ones for when I have events at my house. I love them that much. But I'm just quickly going to cut out this little bow tie. There we go. And I was going to put it on with multi-purpose glue, but instead I'm going to use a mini glue dot. And before I do that, I'm going to actually roll up this glue dot for two reasons. Number one, the glue dot is a little large for this tiny, it's hard, I don't know that you can see those. The glue dot's actually a little too large for this tiny bow tie. The other reason I'm rolling it is that I want the bow tie to stand up a little bit, okay? But again, I didn't want it sitting up as high as a dimensional just because it's so, so small, okay? And yes, normally that bow tie would be like right in the front under the um, chin or face, but I'm putting it off to the side um, just for a better view. Okay, and then lastly, we have to add our sentiments. And once again, I'm going to use the same sentiment, enjoy all the little moments, and again, I'm going to stamp it with mint macaron. Of course, stamping in balmy blue would work just as well, right? And I'll add this with dimensionals. You probably knew that. I don't need to say it, right? Does anybody use as many dimensionals as I do? And I use both the large and the small. All right, so what do you think? So here's a great example of how I've used two products that were probably originally designed to um, work for Valentine's Day and Easter 
but I've pulled elements from both and changed it up, put my own ideas in there, and um, made two baby cards instead. So what do you think? Pam says she loves the blue one best. I love them both. Of course, I'm kind of partial to the girls now, knowing that I am having a, a granddaughter. But it's all fun. It's all fun. It'll be fun to see what Andrea and John do, like with the baby's room. They're already um, working on that. So um, they bought a chair this weekend. They were excited about that. So I said, well, I'd come over soon and see them. Uh, love the bow tie. Yes, this guy needed a little something, right? Right? Okay. Oh, was Pam, you didn't know. Yes, Andrea and John are expecting. We found out in November and last Thursday, they told the family that um, they are having a girl. The baby's expected July 8th. So super, super excited. All right, everybody. If you would like to um, receive one of these cards in the mail, to send to somebody when the occasion arises, or just to give you inspiration, please type in the comments now, baby cards. Simple, baby cards, okay? Laura, July 8th is a great day. Is that your birthday? Why do you say it's a great day? I'm guessing it's your birthday. Yes, type baby cards and you might be one of the lucky winners. Um, one thing I want to say, um, when you win cards, I first of all, I don't go to the post office every day, and I don't put mail, outgoing mail, in my mailbox. I take it to the post office always, um, always have, um, and I still do that. I do not go to the post office every day. Typically, one to two times a week, Sometimes three, depending on what's happening. Um, but if you don't, don't expect to get your cards immediately, okay? Sometimes it can take a week or two because I photograph them. Um, I write down measurements I use, products I use, things like that to incorporate these into future blog posts. Um, and then I get the mail together and... Um, when I have a little stash of letters or um, notes or cards, I then take them to the mailbox or to the post office. Or if I'm sending a class to go, I might grab the cards that are in the bin and um, mail them at that time. Okay. So sometimes people message me, I didn't get my card, I won. And, you know, it's only a few days. So please know that you're not forgotten. If I've notified you and I have your address, you will get it. It's just not immediate. All righty. Okay. So many of you watching today. Thank you. Maybe everybody just needed a Monday pickup. Did you have snow where you were? I'm going to flip this. Um, let's see here. What am I doing, Mary? Where's my little, here it is. Um, so did you all have snow this weekend? We finally got some snow in central Ohio. Um, and they didn't even tell us we were getting snow until like the night before. And it was supposed to be one to two inches. And it ended up being three to six inches. It was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Huge, fluffy snowflakes. Um, blanket of white everywhere, absolutely gorgeous, um, but heavy snow. You know, first fluffy, but it was a very wet, heavy snow um, when it sat. And my wonderful son-in-law, uh, my family was here to watch the Bengals game, Bengals and Bills. Yay, Bengals won. Uh, we raised our children in Cincinnati, and my ex-husband grew up in Cincinnati. So, yes, we are Bengals fans. Um and, um, oh, Mary Ellen, you're in Reynoldsburg. Yes, I forgot that. Not too far from me. Um, and pretty close to Andrea and John. We should meet up sometime. But anyways, it was beautiful. It's And this whole week, it's hovering, uh, like today, tomorrow, hovering around 34. So it's melting quickly. And then we're supposed to have rain all day Wednesday. And that's just the way um, weather in Ohio 
in many other states is, right? We take the bad with the good, the good with the bad. There you go. Who day? Yes. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share some fun projects with you. And I look forward to seeing you again. I will be live right here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe on Wednesday, that would be the 24th, January 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So until then, um, make it a great day and happy stamping.